I didn't know this about myself, but when Pirates of the Caribbean came out I realized that I didn't enjoy a huge amount of recognition. I didn't react to it well, but I think life is about finding out who you are and what you like. So I started doing independent movies and art house films instead. It's not every day you get to do a pirate movie, you might as well go for it. When I was about five I think, I desperately wanted to be a pirate and have the hat and everything. I think everybody has the right to a private life. I tried college for three months but I was desperately unhappy. I just wanted to perform. I was getting straight as but I had no friends and cried every day. Film is a much lonelier process than theater. You really don't have any rehearsal time in film. You don't shape it together, with theater, there is a complete kind of family atmosphere. The sociable side of this business is the theatrical side. It really isn't the film side. I wasn't allowed to do commercials. I wasn't allowed to do TV series. I wasn't allowed to do soaps or basically anything that would mean I missed too much school. All through my life what I've loved doing is watching movies. I love the escapism of film, I love stories. So it is incredible to be able to be in them as much as I am, to see them from the first stitch in a costume to the end product. It's very rare to get a film script that has good dialogue. A lot of the time, you spend on film sets really fighting to find out how to say the words. I enjoy doing an action scene. I'm not a purist as far as films go. If you want to do sex, great. As long as you do it well. I would be extremely stupid if I said that my looks had absolutely nothing to do with what I do, it is a visual medium. I'm perfectly aware of that, the face and the body help. Of course they do. I don't have a problem with my body. I'm not just going to strip off all my clothing, but if the part calls for it and I don't think there's any way round, I'm absolutely fine. I think women's bodies are a battleground and photography is partly to blame. Our society is so photographic now, it becomes more difficult to see all of those different varieties of shape. I made a conscious decision to live my life the best way I could and that meant to publicize myself as little as possible. Acting is very much a profession that is your hot one moment and not the next and that is totally cool. I think that's what I find most fascinating and most exciting about it is that it can be gone in a puff of smoke. I don't quite understand what Tolstoy's actual personal view of Anna is whether he likes her or hates her, whether she's the heroine or the anti-heroine. I think every girl is looking for her Mr. Darcy. It's a difficult thing when you try and make a film of a book that you really love. You have about two hours to tell the story, and it's never going to be enough. I wish I was Sienna Miller. When I talk to her, I hope a bit of her party personality will rub off on me, but it never does. I do think that acting is such an unpredictable job, and you're away a lot. If you're dating somebody outside the industry, it can be hard to understand that. If only I wasn't an atheist, I could get away with anything. You'd just ask for forgiveness and then you'd be forgiven. It sounds much better than having to live with guilt. It's all about perfection, isn't it? And we're fortunate if we have parents who are great and loving and inspiring. But, unfortunately, there are people who don't have that. It's impossible. You try to have any kind of relationship with your family, with a man, or with a friend, and you have to be on the phone and the internet the entire time. 
I've got a lot of experience with anorexia my grandmother and great-grandmother suffered from it, and I had a lot of friends at school who suffered from it. I know it's not something to be taken lightly, and I don't. It's an interesting thing when you discover something about yourself. To go, wow, I'm not the person I thought I was. I'm in the middle of something and I can't actually deal with it. I went through voice coaching. I was absolutely terrified. I thought my knees were going to buckle, and the first couple of takes I sounded like a pubescent boy. I didn't realize I was going to have to do it live. You already feel unsure of yourself, and then you see your worst fears in print. It really knocked me, which is why, I think, I was working, 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 because I was trying to run away from the fact that I thought I couldn't do it. At this particular time, I probably am more comfortable with myself. Just now I'm having a lovely time. My mom says that I was born 45, and I do remember at 6 thinking that I should be earning my own living. I see the world through my eyes. It's sometimes a strange world, 